We are talking about fish slime. That's right, that's in the screen behind me. There's slime on the screen. And we're talking about whether you'd be interested in slathering your entire body in fish slime in order to protect yourself from the sun. That is coming from the results of a new survey. Let's talk about it. Okay, a paper recently reported in the ACS Applied Material Interfaces, that is some kind of journal, explains that scientists are analyzing the natural sun blocking properties of algae and fish slime to create a shield against the sun for people, textiles, and outdoor materials. Now, as someone who is very susceptible to being sunburned, I'm interested in whatever you got, okay? I mean, here's the deal. Pretty interesting stuff. Now, we know that ultraviolet radiation, UV, comes in two different forms, UVA or UVB. Now, UVB is a little more dangerous, but seeking an all-natural solution, this guy, Professor Vincent Boulogne and his team, based in South Australia, turned to molecules found in algae. What they found, it's pretty interesting, as these organisms in algae get gobbled up by fish, they accumulate in the body's secretions. So what's happening are there are these algaes that have these uh, certain molecules in them that produce natural sun blocking cells. These are then consumed by the fish who secrete it in their fish slime, leading to a situation where they're more protected against these harmful UV rays. Right, that's what we're looking for in a sunscreen, pretty much. Okay, now here is what they're talking about. Shitosan, it's an all natural UVA and UVB blocking polymer with many applications. It's highly stable and versatile, and it can be used in sunblock creams, coated on fabrics, or even in outdoor furniture. Pretty interesting stuff. Now, the biggest problem and the barrier to this fish slime formulation, and you know, obviously you're not putting real fish slime on your skin if you were to use this product, right? It's not fish slime, it's they studied the reaction and duplicated it in a laboratory and it seems to work, but it's highly expensive. Um, and now while regulators in the United States are hesitant to approve of the sunscreen components used in other countries, they reckon that introducing these products to the mass market could be simple as they're already used in some beauty products and medicine. So listen folks, fish slime, if you're interested, check it out online. It's called Chitosan. You can get your hands on it and maybe it'll help you. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe. <laughs>